Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Adelaide Toy Collector. My name is Chris, thanks for tuning in. Today we've got a few things to get through. Apologies, I haven't put a video up for a couple of weeks. Life has just been a bit busy and I wasn't well, um, but all good now. Um, anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for tuning in. We are nearly at 1,000 subscribers and when we hit 1,000, we're gonna be doing some awesome giveaways and things like that. But today we've got some deliveries to go through. First package is from a, a new company, I believe, called Sentinel Collectibles. Um, I liked them on Facebook. They had a really cool deal with some items. So I managed to pick up a soda that I really, really liked. And it's come very well packaged. I don't know how I'm gonna get into this thing, but we will. So there are I like them on Facebook. I think that's where one of the one of the uh, Funko groups, the guy that runs it, Scott, um, basically reached out and said, "I've got this uh, collectible store um, called Sentinel Collectibles. Um, it's very well packaged, very well packaged. Um, so yeah, like I said, he had some really cool items um, up available for purchase. Um, so that was really cool." Um, so I'm going to show you what I managed to get. Now we don't get any of these particular sodas here in Australia, but I managed to get one that I have been eyeing off for a while and I could not resist at the price that he had listed for this. All right, now just take that little bit off, a little bit of tape on there. All right, now there was no chase of this. It is the Fright Night limited to 5,000 piece. This is the Black Light Freddy Funko. Now, like I said, there was no uh, chase of this. I'll just show you the POG. There, one in 5,000. That's the POG just there, and we'll have a look at the, at the figure now. This is such a cool figure. I really, really like this one. How cool is that? Freddy Funko Soda. That is amazing. He's got his little Funko bag. I love black light stuff. So that is an awesome addition to the collection. So thank you, Scott, over there at Sentinel Collectibles. Okay, next up. Uh, another new favourite of mine is Luke Cave. There we are there. They dropped some uh, the Asia exclusive pops and this one is absolutely freaking hideous so much that I had to add it to the collection and yes it uh, took my eye very very quickly I don't know why because like I said it is a very weird uh, Funko Pop um, one that I no idea really why I took a shine to it uh, just be warned, incoming plane noise overhead. For those that know, I live right by the airport. Um, so you may be able to hear that. All right. So as always, we get our little thank you for your order with Luke Cave. Make sure to check them out. They are really, really awesome. If you check out um, uh, the pop I love that. The Pop Arcade Cam, he's got discount codes. So if you check out his videos, there's some discount codes to Luke Cave that you can utilize. Uh, so let's have a look at the weirdest Funko Pop I have ever seen in my life. And thank you, James at Luke Cave, for packing this with absolute care. Awesome. Okay, and it is in a pop protector. Okay, this is the weirdest, most hideous looking Funko Pop I have ever seen in my life. Let me just take some of the plastic wrapping off of the protector so you get less glare and you can see the pop a little bit better. Just get a little bit of that. I'll tidy it up a bit later. I've done a real shonky job I'm removing that plastic, but this is from Pop Asia, part of the uh, 
Ponagush's Sugar Circus, is that? I can't really quite make out that word. However, this is the Screaming Clown. Now, I've never seen a pop like this. It is hideous, it is crazy, it is weird, and I freaking love it. I don't know why. I just absolutely, you know what, I'm going to take it out. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of some of that plastic and, uh, off, the, off the protector. Sorry, but I, I, I mean, I have to take this out of the box. I have to take it out of the box because I need to see this in person. It is absolutely freaking crazy. Sorry, I've just got to be very careful in removing it. Oh, there, right, there we go. Okie dokie. The box is in mint condition. But I need to see this out of the. Oops. Oh, come on. Looks like it's a bobblehead as well. Oh, it is. Right. Okay, that is nuts. Look at that friggin'. Look at this weird looking screaming clown. That is absolute madness. That is. <laughs> that is mental. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> All right, let's just pack him there and I'll pack him away a bit later. But wow, that is the weirdest Funko Pop I've ever seen. And again, like I said, I had to add it. I, I had to. I had to add it to the collection. Pop Asia coming up with some real weird, sorry, weird stuff. Okay, now, Pop Culture recently reduced a whole heap of Funko Pops and sodas to a record low price. And of course, I had to add something to the collection. This one uh, is a three litre soda. And we are hoping to get a chase. Hoping is the operable word. All right, so pop culture. Oh, this out. You know, these videos would go a lot less if I actually took the time to take stuff out of the boxes first. Alright, so three litre soda box. This is like, so, so Funko sodas in Australia are like 80 bucks or 70 bucks. This was reduced to, let me just grab the price off of here, yeah, just to tell you. This was, uh, where's the price? Oh, there is no price. That bloody helps, doesn't it? Okay, so it was, I think they reduced them to like $30 and I had like 10 bucks worth of credits. So this three litre soda cost me like 20 bucks, which is less than what a standard common soda is. But it is the three litre Maleficent as the Dragon. Now, the, um, the chase version of this is a glitter version. And I've never opened up, well, I did get a chase once upon a time uh, at uh, Supernova, but I hooked up a friend with it because they loved it and they were dying to get it. So I'm hoping that we can get it now. Opening these things is a trick and you get some funny looks on your face when you're trying to open up the darn thing. Come on, you stupid. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. All right, now. Um, okay, here we go. So let's see if we've got the chase. Let's give that around. So this is, what, 15,000. I can't remember how many chase versions there are, but in three, two, one, we have just the common. Just the common uh, soda there. All right, just let me put that plastic. There's so much plastic. So much plastic. It's like being at a Hollywood plastic surgery. Um, I could recycle it to them and they could fill a celebrity with it. All right, there's the three litre uh, Maleficent as the Dragon soda. It is a cool soda. It is a fantastic soda. And let's just open up the pog so we can 
have a look at the piece count for this one. All right, so the piece count for this one is 12,500. There we go. So there are two and a half thousand chasers available uh, in that particular line. So anyway, heap of stuff, some cool stuff, some weird stuff. Um, anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the video. What's been your best part of this? I've, I really loved everything. I love it all, really. Um, that, that screaming clown, that's going to haunt me. It's just it's just so weird. I love it. Uh, Funko, keep making that stuff. That's awesome. All right. Anyway, uh, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Whatever you're hunting, happy hunting. As always, we'll see you next time. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it really does help the channel out. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.